is Anna Golightly. My name is Randy Golightly and I farm in Madison County. Now here in our farming operation, we have a cow-calf operation, run about 150 cows, have a, a group of purebred Herefords, and the rest is commercial. This year, we did a full bushel of cereal rye and we added some rapeseed. We've never used rapeseed before, but it's a brassica, just like uh, radishes and turnips. Um, so we're trying that now. Back in 2013, there was a lot of momentum building for cover crops and there was a lot of cost share sources becoming available. So the thing that kind of made the difference for making that decision to begin with was that there was financial assistance available to uh, help start using that practice. So we first used uh, the Environmental Quality Incentives Program for several years, and that was kind of the, the thing that kicked it off. The biggest benefit that, especially this spring for me, we was feeding five or six bales of hay a day to the cows and then since we've turned them out, now we're, they're just out on the cover crops and uh, we're not feeding any hay at all and it's saving, easily saving me five to $600 a day. I am, I've been excited about cover crops ever since I kind of learned about them as, as a tool. And I, I think that there's so many different jobs they're doing out there. You know, if it was just like, oh, just like stop the erosion. Well, that's great. I am all about stopping the erosion. First thing, that I think about when I think of cover crops is soil health and helping build the soil. And then the next thing I think about is water quality and how helping that soil stay in place is really important for reducing erosion, which sediment is a major pollutant. We've talked to several different farmers around and they all kind of come by and they, oh, you turned your farm ground into a pasture out there. But, but they, they're all kidding and joking, but the, they see cattle out there on your crops and uh, and just, it's just kind of new and experimental and I think there'll be more people down the road looking to do something similar.